Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I will share with you a few tips on Iceland travel. Intro. Today's video will be a little bit different than my previous videos and I'm not talking about photography here, I'm talking about tips that uh, come in handy uh, when you are traveling around Iceland and tip number one and the most important in my opinion is watch the waves and this uh, is really important uh, point because a lot of people actually died on Black Sand Beach near Vik and uh, which is also considered one of the most beautiful non-tropical uh, beaches uh, around the world. So it's definitely a must when you are uh, traveling around Iceland, but you have to be very careful. Those waves are called sneaker waves. Uh, you can also find a similar type of waves, for example, in France, and they come out of nowhere and just take you with them, basically. So you have to be super careful and don't go too close to the water and just mind all the warning signs. Speaking about safety, I would like to go to point number two, which is um, also very important, to be careful on the road. And however... Um, Icelandic roads are relatively easy to drive on, especially during summer season. On the other hand, during the winter season, which is basically most of the year, unfortunately, it might be tricky because of the black ice, so-called, so the, the uh, road looks fine, but uh, in real, uh, reality... Uh, it's covered with a really thin layer of ice and actually my husband uh, had an accident because of that and crashed our car. So be careful um, of this. Also the wind can blow really, really hard and I've seen so many cars just blown out of the road. I've heard so many stories and um, read so many news about coaches or bigger cars like you know the camper vans just collapsed because of the wind so be careful guys and also rem uh, remember that Iceland is not flat country there is loads of hills and uh, curves and sometimes both at the same time so you have to be careful while driving around Iceland and simply just don't go to places you are not sure your uh, driving is good enough to go there, uh, especially if uh, you're going outside of the main number one road. Sometimes it also might uh, require crossing the river or something like that. And even if you are driving four by four uh, car, just be careful, still be careful. It's only a machine and you can't trust it fully. You, you have to trust only your guts and your uh, driving abilities. So better safe than sorry and it's better to come back maybe next time and try again um, rather than end up in the river or with the crashed car or even dead. I wrote a blog post on my website about um, useful uh, websites um, that are uh, handy when you are uh, coming to Iceland and I will link it um, down below in the description along with other um, useful links. So uh, check the description um, and stay safe. Okay, so having the scary things said, now let's move on to point number three, which is bring your own water bottle. And it might sound uh, stupid, but really having your own bottle is not only um, ecologically friendly, of course, uh, it also saves you a lot of money because here in Iceland, tap water is so great. You can 
drink it straight from the tap. So there is no point uh, in uh, buying uh, water in the shop unless you want the sparkling one. I remember when I first visited Iceland as a tourist, that was around five years ago, I remember there was no still water in the uh, supermarket. Um, it came together uh, with a bigger amount of tourists, but um, Icelanders never buy still water in uh, the shop because it's exactly the same water, guys, that you have in, in the tap. Um, even when you see the soda machines in restaurants or bars and you can see uh, sparkling water there, in re reality, it's tap water and the machine just adds gas to it. So you are actually drinking tap water anyway. So um, what's the point of uh, paying? Let's move to point number four that might scare you, but there is nothing to be afraid of, I promise you. And I'm talking about Icelandic swimming pools. And swimming pool is not scary at all, <laughs> on the contrary, but you have to take shower naked before and after entering the swimming pool. And I know in some countries, some uh, cultures, like my own country, just maybe it's changed, but if let me know in the comments if it's changed or not, but as far as I remember, uh, people in Poland um, shower with their uh, swimsuits on before entering the swimming pool. Here in Iceland, it's advised to uh, take shower naked. In every swimming pool, you will find the drawings of the human with circles uh, around the places you uh, you should uh, wash more carefully before, before um, entering uh, the swimming pool. And actually be prepared that someone might um, tell you off if you are not um, taking shower uh, without your clothes. Of course, it's not everywhere, not everyone would um, tell you off, but it might happen, so just be prepared for that. Icelanders are uh, really used to see other people being naked around them and to be naked around other people in the uh, showers, in the changing rooms, and no one really cares and no one really pays attention how you look. They are uh, doing this from really, really young age and it's normal for them. And I, I personally think it's amazing experience and it should be like this everywhere. <laughs> but this is only my opinion. So just be prepared that if you want to use a swimming pool or hot tub, you would have to take shower naked. And fifth thing I would like to share with you is if you are vegan, be prepared that you will not have chance to try traditional Icelandic food. Um, Icelandic cuisine is mostly about fish, meat, especially lamb, and um, skier, which is Icelandic dense yogurt, something like that. So these are three main traditional uh, ingredients and all the cuisine, almost all the cuisine is based on that. So if you are vegan, I'm sorry, but probably you won't experience the bomb of flavors uh, during that trip. So just Bear in mind, vegetarians have a little bit more options, but if you don't eat fish and you don't eat meat, it might be limited. Of course, you can eat uh, other great food. There is a lot of restaurants um, with food fl from all over the world in Reykjavik, but Icelandic traditional food is non-vegan. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next thing I would like to tell you about is alcohol and it's great idea to actually buy your alcohol on the airport because it's duty free and you will probably see Icelanders just buying a lot of alcohol, beer and whiskeys, whatever they like uh, on the airport just after coming to Iceland. Basically it's way cheaper than in 
not so many um, liquor stores in Iceland and you can't um, buy alcohol everywhere and on any day or any time. For example, in, in Poland, where I come from, you can buy alcohol on gas station. Here, no, you have just one brand liquor store and that's it. All the liquor is from that store and nowhere else. And the prices are quite high, I would say. And just buy it in advance um, on, on the airport. That's it. That's it. It will be the best uh, for you. At the very end, I would like to remind you not to drive above 90 kilometers per hour, which is the speed limit here in Iceland. And speedometers are almost everywhere. And although you are notified by road sign that speedometer will be somewhere on your way, I would highly recommend just keep the 90 km per hour because the speedometer is merciless and you can pay hundreds of dollars uh, for uh, speeding plus some fine that will be put on you by your rental company if you are renting a car in Iceland. So. Keep that in mind also and be careful on the roads. Don't speed. Okay, guys, so that would be all for today. Let me know in the comments below if you've heard anything interesting about Iceland. Maybe you'd like me to tell you if some rumor is true or false. Maybe you'd like me to uh, record another video about something. Uh, connected with Iceland and also don't forget to check the description below. I'm uh, sharing with you more tips uh, about traveling around Iceland. So thank you again for watching and see you next week. Bye bye.